Hey there everybody, Pete Pardo here from Sea Tranquility. Welcome to another book review here on the channel. We like to squeeze these in whenever we can, although it's really hard to keep up with all the books that are constantly being sent our way. So uh, we read them as we can, but sometimes we don't get to them until a while after these books come out. So uh, today from Weimar Publishing, Martin Popoff has a bunch of books that have come out on Weimar. Uh, we've got the latest one from Adrian Jarvis. We've reviewed some of his stuff before. Infinite and Beyond, Deep Purple, 1993 to 2022. Yes, this is the Steve Morse years, which you could also say is also the Don Airy years. But basically, this starts when Richie Blackmore left the band and goes up until 2022. So it doesn't include current, current events, although it does go up as far as uh, Steve leaving the band and Simon McBride joining up so that it is fairly current there uh, but it doesn't include any information that's happened like over the last few months anyway right it's a bit, other than that's fairly current and uh, like I said it starts off right at the point where the banjo player takes a hike of course that banjo player is none other than Richie Blackmore so it takes place right around that final tour it kind of gives you a, a little bit of history leading up to that but basically from when Richie leaves to go and reform Rainbow again and then Blackmore's Night and whatnot and they go and get Joe Satriani to step in for a little bit and then getting Steve Morse in the band and then kind of going through all the albums released during the Morse era talking about all the little side projects talking about uh, John Lord deciding to step down from the band and of course you know John passing away in the tribute show and all the albums afterwards the three most recent uh, Bob Ezrin uh, albums actually it's really four and now soon to be five right but um so let's kind of give you a little look and this is only about 100 about 200 pages yeah including like the stuff at the end it's about 200 pages right you've got uh, all the chapters just to give you an idea so uh from a dreg to royalty on the lonely road a band on a load of orchestras no sleep till the exit door going bananas and raptured to russia with rock uh, one eye to the desert, strings attached. How can I see where the light has gone out? What now? Sunflowers and jam, inducted. Talk about the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction ceremony and everything leading up to and after that. That's pretty interesting reading right there. Uh, the Infinite Goodbye, Man Still Alive, Locked Down and Out, and then the epilogue and so on and so forth. So you really get a, a good amount of information here on a time period in the history of Deep Purple. It's not really talked about all that much because it's the most recent time, right? So here we see a bunch of photographs in here live and studio and things like that. Very early on with uh, Mr. Morse, of course. Morse, of course. Uh, Morse, of course. Of course, of course. Here we got Steve. The early days. Kind of fun to see Ian with a little bit more hair, but that ends fairly soon thereafter. A lot of cool live shots and then you got uh, it's actually a whole bunch of sections of photographs here which is always kind of neat Roger and they talk about a lot of the big high-profile shows that they've done uh, throughout this period they, they do kind of hit home quite a bit about the constant never-ending touring uh, the years without having any studio material and then how, you know, they they had the the attitude at the time that ah, nobody buys new albums anymore. And then all of a sudden came the flurry of activity with albums. And like I said, they go into each one of them fairly in depth, which is cool. Uh, Adrian does a, a really good job of giving you a, a nice kind of intro and in-depth information about each of the records that have been released during this time period for those maybe who haven't checked these albums out and lots of interview snippets and things along the way and of course they kind of end the book with there's the new guy there's simon right there the new guitar player in deep purple he will be on the brand new album that's coming out just in a little bit and he has been on the last round of tours that they've done over the last uh Oh, maybe not quite a year at this point, right? Or thereabouts, something like that. So, yeah, like I said, about 200 pages. Very cool stuff from Weimar Publishing. Uh, Adrian Jarvis, Infinite and Beyond, Deep Purple, 1993-2022. If you're a Deep Purple fan and want to read a little bit more information on the Steve Morse era, 
which now has ended real recently, uh, this is a good way to get you caught up on all the recent doings in the band. So, uh, yeah, there you have it. Go check it out. Visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube all together all the damn time. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click on that notification bell so you get alerted of all of our content as it posts. And please do hit the like button before you leave. Also down below, we got the links to our Ko-Fi page, your channel donations, our merch page, and our Cameo page. Thank you in advance for all your support there. And we'll see you soon here with more stuff. I am Pete Pardo. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.